What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. First things first, I have a couple of announcements to make. Number one, it's pronounced Lazuli. Guys, I have been struggling in my own brain with this brand name. When I first heard this brand, my mind just wanted to say Lazuli. I'm Italian, I went with Lazuli, like pasta vajuli, you know. Bay actually looked it up and he goes, I think it's Lazuli because that actually means a blue stone or something of the sort. <laughs> I've heard it pronounced both ways, so I went with that. I was all over the place. I was just using them interchangeably, but I realized very quickly that that's not something I should be doing on camera. I actually created a short. Someone called me out in the comments saying I was pronouncing it wrong because I said Lazuli. So I finally reached out to the brand themselves. I DM'd them on Instagram. I said, help a girl out. I can't be looking stupid in front of my girls. So then they said, well, I guess it depends on your accent, but let's go with Lazuli. That was their way of saying, it's Lazuli, bitch. <laughs> what don't you get? So that's that. I actually reviewed them back in September. Remember that? Their acid wash. I had some mixed feelings. Some things I liked, some I was like, mm. Well, today I'm very happy to share with you their brand new, just recently dropped V-seam leggings, the 2.0. Now, I haven't actually tried the original V-seam leggings. I'm assuming this is a new and improved version, but I was really excited because you know what? I've been hearing you guys talking about this. Second news is that, kindly enough, Lazuli gave me a 10% off code for you guys. You can now use my code GATA at checkout. This way you guys save some money. It does help support this channel. Thank you so much if you do choose to use it. Always let me know because I want to personally thank you. Before we hop into it, do your girl a solid, hit that subscribe button. We talk a ton of activewear here. In case you guys haven't noticed, I literally live in activewear. So if you can relate, definitely hit that subscribe button. Over here, you can find my measurements. I'll also have them in the description box below as well. And everything linked down below as well for you in case you want to take a closer look. So I managed to grab two pairs of the VECM 2.0. I gotta say, almost everything on their site sold out. It's a bummer because I'm actually trying to get my hands on their scrunch leggings next, and I just can't seem to do so. So, so Lazuli, if you're watching, we need to restock. So I got two leggings, which is two more than I thought I was gonna get. We're looking at the spice brown and the berry. This spice brown color was actually in full stock when I bought them. I can kind of see why. I feel like when it's a little close to flesh tone, people are a little hesitant to grab them. Trust me, I've been there, done that, walking around like I'm not wearing pants. This shade has a nice pink undertone. If you look closely, it's not quite skin tone on me, so I can get away with it. Then you have the berry here. Now to me, this looks like Barney purple just with the vibrancy and saturation turned all the way up. If you look closely at these colors, you can actually see an ever so slight marl design. The spice brown, it's actually really hard to see. You have to really look up close. You can actually see it a lot better on this berry. This darker color, you can really see that marl show up. Now, sometimes when a brand comes out with a pair of leggings in many different colors, Depending on the color, it could actually fit differently. With the two that I have here, I'm happy to say they both fit the same. There's no noticeable differences. It's not like, oh, the darker pair is a lot tighter or more compressive. No, I didn't notice any differences in terms of the fit between these two. Now let's break down the actual legging itself. What the heck are we looking at here in the VCM 2.0? The band itself, very squared off. Extremely thick too, might I add. I noticed when wearing it, I was like, ooh, this is a thicky. Not compressive. Not at all. If you're someone who prefers a much more relaxed fit around the waist, a lot less compression, then this waistband would be for you. Right underneath the band, you have a thick seam. It goes straight across in the front. You have the reflective silver printed on Lazuli label logo right at the hip. They contoured this legging with an inverted ribbed moto detailing. So if you look closely, right down the sides of the hips, towards the front of the thigh, and it even wraps around underneath the glutes, and it helps pucker you in a bit. This is reminding me of the Tala scrunch leggings that I just reviewed. They had that similar fit. I felt it as soon as I put these leggings on, that slight grab. I like that, it actually helps me feel a little secure, gives a little bit of compression where I like it, and helps pop the peach even more. My only thing I wanna note here is when I wore these to the gym, and I got home and I took them off, I did notice that because this is inverted, you can actually see inside the legging, it's raised inside, and it actually created little indentations on my leg. I'll insert a photo here. It wasn't itchy, it didn't hurt, and it wasn't annoying, but I did notice it. 
The contour didn't feel like it was restricting my movements. I actually did leg day in this. I wore both of these to the gym already and there was no restriction whatsoever, nothing restricting my movements. It's very, very comfortable, extremely stretchy legging and super easy to put on. I wanna make note on that because nothing irks me more than trying to put on a legging and it taking me literally half a year because it's compressive and annoying. This legging is not super compressive. I would give this whole thing maybe a moderate at best. Nothing high impact, nothing high support. If you're thinking about doing hit or really running in it, maybe not. <laughs> but perfect for my gym girls who wanna do leg day, work with some weights, absolutely. The material itself is relatively thick and very soft. On the back is where the famous V-seam comes into play. You know, if you watch my channel, I love a V-seam. If you're gonna put seams back here, they gotta work for you. Now, this isn't the same as, say, Buff Bunny's V-seam. Buff Bunny places their entire V-seam really high up on the glutes. With Lazuli label, the way they place the V-seam, the lowest point of the V-seam, where it comes right down in the middle to a point, it touches the tippity top of my butt crack literally right on it. From there, it's got a pretty nice arch going outward. It does emphasize the glutes. If that V-seam was any lower though, we would have a problem because I can't have it going lower than my own booty crack. So yeah, I can see why people like this legging. It does help in that department. If glute aesthetics is what you're about, then I think you're gonna wanna check this out. There's plenty of room to play back here too. The material, it just works for you. It works for your glutes, molds very nicely. The back seam plays its part. So yeah, I would definitely give the glute region a 10 out of 10. I didn't notice any sliding or shifting, even with the band not being ultra compressive, I didn't notice any slipping or sliding. I think this material really does work in your favor. The only issues that I have with this legging, they're not the best at concealing cellulite, especially in the lighter pair. I noticed it quite a bit. It also shows sweat like no other. This material has the tendency to create a soggy aftermath. So if you get off the treadmill and you're just dripping sweat and then you wanna run to the store, you're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to air out a bit. You sweat a lot, you will see it in these. Now keep in mind, I am not a heavy sweater. The only time I drip sweat is when I run. And guess how often I run? Yeah, you guessed it right, like never. So that's not really a concern of mine. That's why I'm like, I'll wear the lightest pair they got. I don't care. <laughs> I really do wanna get into running though. I just, after my workout, I get on the treadmill, I do five minutes and I'm like, ooh, I'm good. <laughs> These are very, very true to size, but I think if you're in between, I would gravitate towards sizing down because there's a lot of room, a lot of stretch in these. I think you could get away with it, especially because of the low compression in the waistband. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend sizing up, definitely not. Their Sculpt Seamless Leggings had a very similar ribbing right around the thighs. If you remember from my last video. Like, look at there's no stretch whatsoever, but like right down here, there's this much stretch. But I have to tell you, even though the sculpt had too snug of a contour where I felt like, oh my God, there was no stretch around my thighs. My glutes kind of had a uni butt. These do the opposite. These are very flattering. There is no smushing of the glutes. Nothing is getting smashed. These leggings were pretty squat proof on me, especially the darker pair. I had zero issues here. Now I wanna address the dreaded CT. It's hit or miss. <laughs> sometimes I'm like, holy camel toe, what the? Sometimes I'm like, where'd it go? It's one of those hide and seek camel toes. Realistically, it depends on how your legs are positioned. I know that makes sense. Given how relatively thick these are, they're pretty breathable, not bad at all. Now granted, they know amplify where it's like one gust of wind and you feel it all. This has some breathability to it, but I do think on a super, super hot summer day, you might start to feel it in these. In terms of length, not bad on me. I'm five foot three, came to a really comfortable length. Out of the five days that I've gone to the gym this week, I've worn these three times. <laughs> That's how much I'm really loving these leggings. So I managed to grab one of their open back long sleeve tops. I grabbed the Spice Brown. If you look closely, they're slightly different shades. Not really anything to write home about, but something worth noting. Not exact shades because technically they're different materials. See, there's a lot of seams right around the wrist here. This is very snug. It's actually a little bit uncomfortable to even move your arms around. So I have to pull it up just like that. No biggie, right? The actual material isn't wicking, isn't totally breathable under the pits. I'm actually sweating right now. Can you see it? Yeah, actually, 
can you see the sweat? Is it there? Yeah. And the arms are a little bit restrictive. So I wouldn't even dare wear these for back day or arms, nothing, nothing, no upper body's touching this. Now this is very thin, no bra pads, no support, nothing. I'm actually not wearing a bra right now. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I feel like with how thin and body fit this is, any bra would look super funny underneath this. You would see every single outline. And with this type of look, especially that open back, it has a very dainty style to it. I don't wanna see bulky seams underneath this, okay? That's why. The level of support I need, not a ton. You don't have any band underneath either, so keep that in mind. If you need a ton of support and you're not looking to wear a sports bra underneath it, I don't think this would be for you, but for my gals, similar measurements. I think this could be a really pretty dainty set that you could dress up. I actually did dress this one up as a full athleisure set. Super freaking cute. Overall, very true to size, but if you're in between, that's when I would suggest sizing up. Again, just a little bit limited with its range. So if you are interested in this top, I would personally stick to more fashion purposes only. That's just me. Now, the only other two leggings I've tried from Lazuli Label with a seamless rib legging and the acid wash. These don't compare to that. They don't. So if you have had experiences with those leggings and you're like, eh, and you're a little hesitant on these, they're two totally different animals. <laughs> Trust me in a good way. I feel like every brand has that signature legging they're known for. And now granted, I have not tried all of Lazuli Labels leggings, but I will say as of right now, I'm thinking this is it for them. These are my type of gym leggings. I feel good, I feel confident, and most importantly, I feel very comfortable in these. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know if you'd like to see any more Lazuli label videos. I am absolutely dying to try their scrunch leggings, so if you have any experience with that one, comment down below. How's the sizing, everything like that. So when I do order them, when they're back in stock, I'll know what to get. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you, and I'll catch you in my next video.